Hi. Hello. Hello. Welcome back, my dear viewer. Hello. Hello. Gucci bucket hat. Gucci, Gucci bucket hat. My last video, I feel like Hassan Campbell in here, huh? And this B. My last video had a minor technical difficulty. I appreciate you guys bearing with me throughout those difficulties. Uh, I forgot the vape. I normally don't, but hey, I think I see it. Welcome back, my dear viewer. I've been doing my best effort to stay away from topics that I honestly bring me bring me down in, in, in the simplest form. Internet is going nuts over over Kanye West. Um I'm being very careful. Because first of all, let me tell you something about these hard topics. I realized something. When you cover these hard topics and you're not a sociopath, okay? You're not one of these YouTubers that, you know, like I said in that one video, just read the script. They affect you. Unfortunately, or fortunately, I happen to have a moral... Yeah, I know. I, I do. Yeah, 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 it's me. I have a moral compass, a moral, a sense of conscience, okay? Some things I can't sleep at night. And I've seen a lot in life. <laughs> you guys, my YouTube family here, you guys are just getting to know me. Maybe one day I'll tell you in a video that um, might not be monetized. Or rumble.com, uh, look up AK Debris. They haven't given me my link, but it's coming. Shout out to Rumble, okay? Let's rumble together and give me a blue check on there and, 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 and maybe I can, you know? It is what it is. Until then, I'm gonna be on both platforms. You catch me anywhere. Today, enough for that, you know? They keep talking about these YouTuber guides I read. They're like, you gotta start the video off and tell them right away why you're here. Nah, you're in my house. When you're in my house, you follow my rules. That makes sense to you? Let me plug the charger in because see what happened last time is I unplugged the charger and you know, like the screensaver thing. So my FL Studio And it had me, it had me reliant on the on the camera mic. So yeah, half of the video was audio less, or just camera mic audio. Never again. We learn from lessons over here. I say that to say, with everything going on, right? White lives matter, and, 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 and. I don't want to. I don't like to cover anything until. Excuse me. Until one, I have a moral of the story. Just like the documentary. By the way, if you haven't seen the documentary, shame on you, okay? You're wasting your own time. You're not wasting mine. I, may, I, <laughs> I don't count days. One, two, three. I don't count days. I make days count. So meanwhile, you're wasting your time. I've been getting to it. Three episodes out, the fourth is coming. But if you watch that, you know that I've came with a moral or a lesson to be learned from the whole ordeal. I don't just cover news to cover news or else I'd, I'd have a lot to talk about. Today, I want to talk about something I've been thinking about. I live my life like a white man. I'm going to explain how. I live and think like a white man. 
that doesn't mean see what I've said about white lives matter have I didn't take a stand and tell you yeah man I'm all for Kanye but I broke down and understood where he's coming from see I love my people I love my black people very much that's why I be tough on them it's called tough love if if I tell you what you want to hear all the time you know what they call it rock a baby on a treetop windows will fall the skies nah I'm not this ain't a rock about baby and it's not a kumbaya mama Africa this ain't kumbaya I'm here to give you straight facts it might make some of you uncomfortable I see it in the comments all the time but what what are you trying to explain to me in the comments when I challenge you when I tell you, man, we got a problem with violence, and you sitting here trying to justify the violence, like they slid on my cousin, they slid on. Let me relax, because I'm saving that for a different video. But again, you see what I'm saying? I, I, I challenge you. It's called cognitive this is dissonance. Dissonance. I don't know what it is. Cognitive something. But I'm here to challenge for a good purpose. I'm not here to challenge you because I'm trolling you. I'm not a troll. Maybe I am. Who knows? Before we get into why uh, uh, and how to uh, uh, live like a white man and why you should and all that, you guys like my hat? Let me show you up close. Got the Canadian uh, leaf, and it, it's a local guy who made it. I don't even know him, but he was selling it at the barbershop. So I support local, but local don't support me. That's a fact about me. They cater Brie. What's up, mommy? You like me? Yeah? Are you 30 plus? Instagram, right there. Go hit me up. I like older women. Don't bother. Let's get into it. I've been, yeah. So I've made a note, not a script, a note of the points I wanted to cover here today. Let me put the laptop down. Okay, here we go. Live Like a White Man by A.K. Dupree. Here's why we should, and why you should adopt this mentality that I have. Hear me out. Keep an open mind, okay? This is to help you. A black man in this world struggles and works three times harder to live the normal life of a white man. Let's keep it 100. A lot of you do what you do to, I mean, you know, history. And before you come in and tell me, oh, not all black people, I'm from Zimbabwe. Negro, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to this, uh, the average African-American or black man caught up in this wasteful, toxic culture we're in. So yes, if you wear a dashiki and you're out there living peaceful, you got it going good. Obviously, I'm not talking to you. So don't come at me with that. No, no, but I know. But if it wasn't a problem, there would be nothing to address. Water. Since you want to be a white man, right? And you want to have the fruits and the, and, and the fruits. You want to have the benefits, you know, of, of the, and the good stuff that comes with living a white man life. You must think and live like a white man. Let's get into it. Number one, live a lawful life. Live a lawful life, man. 
A lot of y'all in the streets doing y'all thing. I'm not here to judge you. You got to do what you got to do. Everybody that's done it at some point. Cool. But a lot of you, even when you're doing good, like I'd say rappers as an example. They made it. Multi-millions of dollars. Made it. Made it out. But he still got to keep the the Glock with the switch and the FN. Relax, bro. Get out the hood. You have millions. Why are you still in that circle of switch and FNN? Why? Why? You can't answer that. You should be in a circle of gardening and trying to get into gardening or, or something, man. Not the FNN. The only switch you should, I'm trying to switch if I'm at your level is the one to my office. These lights hurt my eyes, so I'm glad I bought this hat. Okay, so live in peace and promote peace. You go to white people neighborhoods, you know, you work hard, you try to make it out the hood. Where do you go? You go over there, right? What do you see when you go there? Peace. Imagine if the hood turned peaceful. Imagine that, right? Just something to think about. I was gonna say accept others, but you know, hey, white folks. Yeah. I mean, not all, but that's not that's not a good point. I scratch accept others, but yes, accept others, and be willing to have difficult conversations, or else people like Africa Bambada won't be running around. But us as black people, we like to deny that part of our society, like it don't like we don't have creeps. Yes, we have creeps. We got them creeps just like they got them creeps, except we don't talk about it. Or at least the men don't talk about it. The women are pretty vocal. Sometimes the women can't talk about it or tell the men in their household because the men, you know, mentalities. So fix that up. I don't care who I offend. I'm here to make change. I make friends. Uh, <sighs> separate art from reality. You don't have to prove you're real to sell music. Your music shouldn't even be focused on hyper violence and hyper, you know, like, but at the same time, learn to separate art from reality. You got Megan Thee Stallion. Encouraging the, uh, what was it? Hot Girl Summer? That lifestyle. White people, not all, but at least the rich folks, they still hang on to that family tradition, that family values. You know, I seen it when I went to college. This, they send the, um, like the whole family comes, like the dad and them, if present, or mom, they come to escort their child to college. There's the, still that family unit. But when you look at us, we got Megan Thee Stallion. Get out of here. Fix up. This isn't about Meg. I'm not hating on Meg. Again, I speak on ideas, not people. It could be Meg. It could be Glorilla. I, I want to see them get money, but I don't want to see the tax of that being our civilization. <laughs> No, sir. Fix up. You know it's wrong. I know it's wrong. Even even Cardi B. Tess. Even Cardi said she don't let her daughter, her sons or whoever, kids, listen to her. Why? Because she knows what's up. You can come here and pretend that, how dare you criticize me? This is empowerment. From where? If it's so empowering, let your child listen to it. Get out of here, man. This point. Don't embrace, I can't say this word. Don't embrace, let's call it self-destruction. 
Don't embrace it. If you in the southern rock, you know what I'm talking about, rock. The smokable kind. Don't act like it's a good thing to do. If you scamming your own people to survive, again, I'm not here to lay judgment on anyone because I understand poverty and doing what you got to do. But keyword, what you got to do. Don't fall in love with it and embrace it and act like it's the greatest thing since sliced butter, sliced bread. Like, don't embrace it. Why do we embrace bad stuff? We embrace poetry, because music is really, you know, lyrics, poetry. Poetry about self-destruction and the life-taking, unjust life-taking on, on, on our own kind. We embrace that. We love it. But when Kanye tells you why lives matter, that makes you look in the mirror. Because yes, black lives don't matter to you, my friend. Or else you you take a stand against drill and such. You know, when you see the art forms go beyond and, and address the issues we got before you blame the white man. Your life won't matter to him until it matter to you. That's just the fact of it. Start with yourself. Don't look at don't look at outside. If we all take a stand, the things will change. But until then, you keep living a lie and trying to convince me and justify to me in my comments why I'm wrong. Bravo. I mean, that point is the same. Love your kind. Love your own kind of people. There's self-hate. You know, black people, black man specifically, is only tough with black man. And I'm not saying go be tough on other people. Just cut it out, bro. Why do we have such self-hate and crabby, crabs in the bucket mentality? Look at how white rappers are. Their people support them blindly, even if they're horrible. And I'm not going to call out names, but... What's his name? What's his, what's his name? I didn't say N, by the way, YouTube. What's the guy's name? Harlow. Jack Harlow. Look at how his folks support him. But look at the upcoming black rapper that you know in your life. Forget me. I technically almost made it. So I'm done, I'm done rapping anyway. But we all know one guy like that. Do you support him? Oh, you do? Good. If you don't, there you go. You won't support your own kind. Look at how we treat our own kind. You know, black man go missing. Instead of a community being saddened about it, coming together, nah, -huh. we'll, we'll be smoking on them in a song or dissing them. Or, you know, the next song might be, yeah, I heard your homie went missing. Hmm? Oh, the, yeah. White lives do matter, buddy. Yours don't. To you, not to me. To me, they matter. That's why I'm here. Putting the lights in my face. You think it's easy? You try it. This part here. See, I got the mustache. I told him, get my mustache right. Shout out my brother, Robill. Make sure you tap in with him on my Instagram. My barber, he makes sure I'm right. He watch my videos too. Shout out to him. Upcoming, doing his thing on TikTok. See, I support my kind. Maybe you should. Get, you guys should be more like me and support your people. Not hide them. I mean, I get distracted. I save my stories for later. Remind me to tell you how people treated me like Cinderella. <laughs> You're going to love that one. 
Let's keep going. And I see you YouTubers trying to take my swag, my style. I took inspiration from Hassan Campbell. I give him credit almost every video. Try that one maybe for a change, huh? Oh, the... This part is the best part, and I was saving it for... Not last, cause, but I was, yeah, coming to it. This title of this section is Make It Normal. You know how girls be like, normalize, normalize, bang, bang, work. No. There's nothing normal. Tess? Oh, my God. I hope I didn't break my headphones. Can't change it now. Normalize, bang, bang, work. Baby, mama, sweetheart, my love, dear. There is nothing normal about you doing fans only. Let's get that understood. Just like there's nothing normal. And look, again, I am not here to cast judgment. But let's not normalize it now. Because we're suffering from the post-pandemic economy. Everybody's down bad. You got the men who are not blessed enough to have jobs or who are not scary enough. Not scary. Let's not say that. Who are not willing to walk the straight and narrow as hard as it is. Because I'm walking straight and narrow right now. That's why I did scam rap. I'm not actively scamming. But a lot of you are in the life, again, not to cast judgment, but let's not fool each other. Let's not play games on each other's intelligence. Normalize me having my body on OnlyFans, but you should... Nah. Oh, lay. what you think this is? I'd love you, but let's not play, play each other like normalize it. Just like I rap about scam rap, but when you ask me the person, what do I think about scamming? I'm not going to glorify it to you. When these, listen, I do the scam rap, it attracts scammers. They'd be like, bro, man, you know, you taught me better. Cause I'm like, yeah, see, I told, taught you how to, it's a hustle. I get it. I live the life you live, but grow from it. It's not normal. I'm not going to tell you, yeah, scamming is good. Make sure you go. Nah, bro. Normalize. So I hate that word. Let's say. Make it normal. Make it normal to do what, AK? Ask me. Make it normal. You want to know? Make it... Okay, I got you. Here we go. Make it normal to buy regular clothes. You might call me a hypocrite. I only own a couple designer items. I only did own them for music video purposes. Some of them I resold. I can afford to go right now and grab Saks Fifth. The whole Saks Fifth. But I think like a white man. I was blessed to have good white friends who are, who put some good values in me. Shout out to them. I don't want to name them. They live private. They live private. They dress private. They dress normal. A lot of my videos, I'm in Walmart clothing. Or not Walmart, but I'm in just regular people clothing. This is probably a nice babe shirt. I wear it a few times. Some of you are stuck in a hood, but you buy Air Force Ones. And tell me, I only wear this once. You're stupid. I got... I got more money than you ever have. Let's just pretend I do, hypothetically. But I don't do that. I can afford to buy forces every day. But that's how you end up broke. My son, my friend, my brother. You can either get offended or take the lesson that needs to be learned. I got a white friend. He's one of the most, he's a hustler like me. He's the white version of me. And apparently the girls say he got that schlong ding dong and a kinda black mamba. So he is literally the black version of me. 
All right? He got that, what they call it? Pause. I'm not, I'm not thinking about what he got, but I'm just saying he is literally the white version of me. Shout out to him. He run his little business too. But the man always had breeze. More breeze than your favorite rapper can think about. Your favorite rapper can't even count up. Uh, one, two, three. Let me sip some lean. Uh, uh. You can't even count up to how much my boy got. He's good. But when you see him, you don't see him in a mirror jeans. You don't see him. He wears Skechers and like Walmart Club. And before I met him, I used to carry the same stupid mentality. Let me take this off. But he taught me how to think like that. And I realized there's a freedom and not caring to wear design. Like it's such a keep up, bro. Like I watch people get their first 10K, 10, 20K and run to the Gucci store. And now they're back where they started. Back to the drawing board. <laughs> oh, there. Yeah, this is. So, yeah, make it normal to be normal. You don't have to have designer to be. You know, like some people's whole lives revolve around it. Unless you're, a, that's your job, or you're trying to make it your job. You got no business trying to be that. And if you are already in that life, you realize what I'm talking about. There's a pain of having to keep up dressing and looking a certain way. Right or wrong? There's a freedom in that. That's, that's, that stuff only makes you a target. What do you think people are happy for you? Some might. Most won't. You know, be simple, man. Uh, 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 uh. Be about saving your money. You Notice know, white folks, they save their money. He could be a millionaire, but he's not making stupid purchases like you. Even if he's trapping or doing what he do, I don't know. It's a mentality. And I love that about white folks. You know, be in your kid's life. Men, a lot of single moms, shout out to them. They hold it down. I've said some things here and there, but it's just jokes. The real demon <laughs> is the black man. I don't respect the deadbeat. And I respect the man who tries. But you just running out the kid's life, I can't trust you. If you can't do for your kid, that's how you treat your own son. Then why would I, you know, what, what does that say about you? Irrelevant. Never trust the man who cheat on his wife or girlfriend. In business, whatever. Because if he'll do that to his love, how is he going to do you? Wise man told me that. I make jokes and rap about cheating and stuff, but I never checked. When we together, it's love. Unless it's something, let me not talk, let me get distracted. You know, honor that loyalty that people have, right? And I was gonna say love your woman, but yeah, like love your woman, like that. And women love your men, all right? You, you heard the story I told? I was flirting with a, with a black girl. Told her to take me to a cookout, she said, Mm, cookout. I don't take N nowhere but the grave. Uh, what am I flirting with? Chief Keith? Relax. King Von? Oh, the. I'm the Queen Drill. Queen Drill? They should have drilled. Whew, calm down. Calm down. Don't say that, AK. It's YouTube. Even if it's Rumble, you can't say that. Okay, bro. Oh, the... For real though, like, especially like post-pandemic, man, 
Woman. Man, woman. Listen, for you red pill dudes, let me tell you something. I'm 24 years old. A lot of y'all are young. And even most of y'all are my age, right? I get it being single, men going their own way. You guys are young. Even the women are young. The women are going for older dudes. I'm not saying turn to EDP. I'm saying relax. Your turn, your day is coming. Okay? You should be building yourself and not focus on that. I don't have a girlfriend. I'm feeling no, bro. You're young. I don't care how many red pills you took, red pill community. Hear me out. Men and women need each other. At some point, F and B's gets boring and you're going to need to, like hookup culture ain't sustainable, bro. Like people want to reproduce. That's what life's about. It's in your DNA. Even gay couples go and adopt children. Are you telling me you don't want to? Oh, the... It'll hit you one day and you... Uh, it's just, Every man goes through that, right? So... This is pandemic and only fans and, and... Shout out Fresh and Fit, but even they add to the problem. Make it seem like life is... No, life is not bad. It's just a rough economy. What you should be doing is buying Bitcoin. Right? Not financial advice. What I would do if I was you. Just a man to a man. All right. Don't do your own research. Look into it. I have videos coming about. Not good. And last one, and I'll leave you. Take care of your mental health, bro. I grew up, you know. Black community is black as black as they come. Third world, not even out here, but the hood as well. And I noticed, and, 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 and I mean, now things are changing, but there's a, 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 a like black people, are that. I was talking to my bro, because we're both grieving over someone we love, his brother actually. And even though sometimes I'm on YouTube, I seem happy. I'm human. I fight fights just like you. But for the majority of my life, I didn't think mental health was real. I was like, uh, I'm not saying that, these are my opinions. I'm not saying that ADHD and all that nonsense and, and kids should be on Ritalin and all that. I disagree with that part, but... What I'm trying to say is, I'm not saying go to therapy or do. That's on you to do. Uh, I ended up skipping therapy. Because I, sh- I was a guy in desperate time with, with money to spend. And it, she was like, I'm sorry, sir, you're going through that. But I'm going to have to put you on a wait list. I didn't tell you I needed a new organ. I needed someone to talk to. But again, shout out to my YouTube family. You guys weigh in when you see me tripping, and I love it. I don't know where I'd be without you. And like I said, even though I might seem happy, like I got it, I figured it out, I'm human. And like I told you, in our black community, we like to say, hey, bro, I'm depressed. Ma, I'm depressed. Get out your feelings. Depression ain't real. There's a difference, though. Be careful between being clinically depressed and being feeling down. But all I'm trying to say is take care of yourself. Make some white friends and don't be closed minded. Explore it. Let them put you on. Not the white friends that be in the in the in the trailer park. Shout out to them. I love them. But if you I'm trying to elevate you here. You trying to go up, then you must make friends up. And don't be a user. Don't get around them, try to use them, send them in the bank. You know what I'm talking about? Relax. Try to learn from them. And bring something to the table, bruh. Don't be a user, Negro. You make us look bad. 
you fumbled the back for me. I don't even know this person, but you met him before me and you ruined it. Relax, bro. I'm, I'm here for a future. Shout out Dr. Umar. I watch him and I support him, but I disagree with what he says. I am Gen Z. Previous generations, you guys didn't leave me much space here to move. I'm trying to make the world I want to live in. I understand there's stuff going on with Kanye and stuff. I have a Jewish friend. I was raised Muslim in Saudi Arabia. Normally, if I was a sheep, like the sheep where I'm from, and if he was a sheep like where they're from, we would have been enemies. But instead, we're tight. We're looking at all this stuff in the media about, you know, clashing. These are politics. These are stuff. We are too, we're young. We're the future. The future is all of us being cool. White, black, uh, rainbow coalition. Uh, 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 I don't even, apparently it's not transsexual, it's transgender. So, you know, we're all cool. Yellow, black, green, the aliens going to come. We're going to be chill with them. We're not going to, I mean, unless it's, it's, it's war, but we're going to defend. But it's the human race. We're not all the same, sure. But that's, that's what makes us us. That's what makes us the mosaic, like Justin Trudeau says. See, I got this on. You, you countries should learn from Canada. Here, we tolerate and love each other. Except down in Quebec, I don't claim them. You know, we are all one at the end of the day. We're all human trying to be loved and accepted. So be sensible. And don't use, use. You want to be rich? You got to add value. If you keep using everybody that come your way, you're going to end up alone and miserable and you deserve it. Rich people don't become rich by using people. They do it by providing value. I'm tired of the lights. Um, let me close. I'm done. I've said most of the points that some I scratch. So let me end this, right? I made a I made a thing here, so to address certain type of comments before they occur. So they can't say. Here's what I'm expecting when I thought of this title. People might come up and say, of course someone will say, but AK, white people smoke rock. Or rack with a C at the beginning. YouTube. Why people do that? They, they hit the pipe. Does that mean we said, of course not, dummy. Stupid. And I don't like it. Nah, but, uh, stupid. Imbecile. Idiot. <sighs> Maybe I make a rumble version where I tell you what I, what I want to tell you. Stupid. <clears throat> of course not. Obviously, crazy, I got to explain it to you. Most of y'all be grown telling me this nonsense. Make it, does that mean we should smoke rock too with a C at the beginning? Obviously, dummy, I mean take the good things from their culture. That goes, I'm like, this is not, you might be like, AK, hey, this is self-hatred as, as well. You're racist like Kanye to your own kind. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Well, you're furthering the thought or, or that the white man is superior. No, I'm not. When did I ever say that? He's superior in the way he lives his life. Yes, that's a fact. Undeniable. Things haven't been perfect, but in the modern day, you know, post-slavery, post-whatever, you, you're trying to get live like he's living. That's why you rap and trap and do what you do. That's why Shorty's doing OF. Am I right or wrong? 
when you get when you get rich, black man in the hood, average black man in the hood, and you know maybe some of y'all be like, yeah, I'd never leave the hood, but you rich, you gonna stay in the hood? You know, long live my brother most paid. I, I didn't even want to bring it up, but they popped him out of jealousy. He loved his people so much. He was around, and and we all know where that leads. So if you're trying to get out the hood, where are you going? To another hood? Or are you going to go live around white folks? So let's stop lying to each other and live in this fantasy world. Let's be honest. There's some things you can learn from the white man. He's not the devil. In fact, the, 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 the white man my age, unless he's, his head been corrupted by some folks older than him, like some people that attack me with, with, with Rose R.A. Sis YouTube, those people are not to blame because it's not personal. Because you never see R.A. Sism come from rich folks. Rich folks get along just fine. That's always in poverty. So, again, it's a means of control, divide and conquer. Once you wake up to that, you realize that everything been about dividing you, whether you're um, on the far right, far left, men, women, rainbow coalition, hetero, you know? Jewish, Muslim, Muslim, atheist, Christian. Like it's all the divide. We're at war with each other, but we're fighting the wrong enemy. What's happening with, with the currency right now? You don't know. You don't care. You don't care to know. That's why you need Bitcoin or friends. Not Bitcoin or friends who joined to make money. Bitcoin or friends who joined like me early because they fell in love with the idea. I was loading up the coins since I was 16 years old. I tatted it on my face like, you think it's gonna go to the moon? I don't care if it goes to the underground, to the depth of the core of the earth. Negative, I don't care. I never joined for money. That's what you don't understand about me. I joined for ideological reasons, for what Satoshi stood for, but that's neither here nor there. It's besides the point. So yeah, man, like, you don't got to wear Balenci, Dior shoes. I'm flexing on this end. I'm popping. Relax. You want the life of the white man that you doing everything you're doing to be like? You know, dress for the job you want, not the job you have. Think like the man you want to be. I ain't going to lie. And I have black friends. It may not seem like it. But the black friends I do have, they think like me. Some are from the hood, but they agree with me. When I speak out against, let me tell you something. When I speak out against gangs, gang banging, I speak against the violence. Because I endure the violence. I'm traumatized from said violence. You get the people trying to justify it. I always look at them. It's usually anonymous accounts or people who've never lived up. Because I, AK, have people that follow me. I don't even want to name them, but I've checked them out. They're like when I talked about O Black, I had a dude from O Black loving it. He laughing. But the other folks from across the country, they don't even. You can't say that. How can you say that? Shut up. Shut up. You got nothing positive to say. You're trying to justify to me why violence is okay. And some of them are grown men. You should be ashamed. Quick to tell me, how are you going to say that? Shut up, bro. I don't care who I offend. As long as I challenge the idea that I came here to challenge... My mission is done. Some of these gang dudes, they respect me. You're trying to live a life that's, you're lying to yourself. Lie to the world, don't lie to yourself. 
See how I portray myself even with the music? I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd, bruh. But yet, the, the DDs, BDs, bloods, whatever you want, they respect me. They don't respect you because I'm true to myself. They want to, you know, they look up to me. They don't look up to you. They changed their life since they know me, turned their life around, walked straight and narrow. I've seen, yo, I've seen a BD get a job. And not that I'm, I founded a nine, nine to five lifestyle, but nonetheless, he didn't have to get, get a jail sentence for him to learn that lesson. Just my influence. How many of you people in the comments justifying nonsense? How many of you, how many of you can say that? You can't even change your own life. The only thing you can change is, 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 is how my comments look. Man, get out of here, man. Go fix up. Go look in the mirror. Let's stop lying to each other. Can we do that? You can't say that. So you gotta so relax. Can we cut out the, the, the nonsense and the masks that we wear to protect each other? Some of you are fragile. But you wear masks to hide your fragility. It's okay. You can be human, bruh. I'm not going to... The older me may have, but the older me was stupid. I grow every day. Look, people really from that life, look at Waka Flocka. He's walking around suit and tie. I'm like, damn. People really from that life don't go... Their goal is to get out the life. You, as someone in the life, or someone who's outside the life, but when you come in and portray, realize what you're doing. This is not about you. I spoke about it in a whole video, how I helped create drill music. Yes, me. I helped create drill music as you know it. I basically led a campaign for free for Chief Keef, aka Sosa, during the Soldier Boy era. I was making money uploading their videos to YouTube. You can check my video about it. Look up AKA Drill Music. I flooded YouTube with multiple channels. I was in 18, I had the AdSense under someone. I don't want to talk about it too much, but I can prove everything I'm saying. I was making money. How much money? Average $3,000 USD a month. At 14 years old, this is 10 years ago, 14. So I was hustling, but the side effect of my hustle ended up birthing and, and glorifying and making Chief Keef, because at the time he was under Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy put on Chief Keef. Whether you want to admit it or not, it's the truth. Even if they both hate me, I don't care, it's the truth. Soldier Boy flew out so to let him sleep in the house. We thought he was an SOD artist. I uploaded SOD stuff. I created this, this media frenzy of you. And YouTube was, this is 10 years ago, YouTube. There wasn't a lot of artists on the tube. And so the boy influence, it was, he was attached to it. We had fan pages. You probably, if you liked Sosa or Soda, you probably were one of my, my or my partner's fan pages or YouTube, and you never knew it. I feel guilty about what I've done, seeing what Drill has become. Academics also came in around that time, but he showed his face. I was trying to build my own rap career, and I was doing skits on YouTube. I'll post some of them for you guys to see one day. I think I covered everything. Like, you know, white people, you guys take the good from us as well. I was going hard at butt, but listen. White people, don't take Megan Thee Stallion from us as an example. She's a horrible. Megan, hot girl summer, no. Don't ruin white girls for me, okay? Go, chill. That black girl, what she told me made, me, made my head spin. So I went back to the white girls. Now they like Megan? Megan, chill. We have an issue here. You're stepping on my toes, Megan. You need to... 
I don't know what agenda, what you signed, or what sacrifice, what oath. But hey, I didn't take no oath. I can speak my mind, Megan. Please. All right. Don't destroy it all for me. I'm still trying to get my my milk and cookies. Holla. <laughs> Not just jokes. I love all women, all shapes, all races, all colors. But I like them older women. I'm done with the young. I'm 24, but I want 29 and above. Because even 27 be iffy. They still in between that. They don't know what's what. 29 and above, they call me, hey, sweetie. Ooh-wee, sweetie. I'm about to oh, chill. Yeah, so white people should take the good things and not the bad toxic BS like gangbanging or Megan Thee Stallion being a manly H word. You know the word. And last thing, closing message. When you choose to live this lifestyle, black man, make it known. Some are going to call you a P word. They call me that all the time. I'm not a P word. Let it be clear for all my ops because they like to watch me. I don't have ops. I don't beef with you. But some people carry mal intentions and want to harm me. And they watch what I said. They're like, oh, you must be a P word. Listen here. I'm a civilian. I don't gang bang. And I speak against gang violence and stuff. That don't make me a P word. You try to hurt me. You try to hurt my family. Let me make it clear. I will defend myself. I got to talk like a politician, huh? Just because I don't gangbang or keep the strap and the FNN with the switch, that don't mean it's, it's, it's open season on me. You run up on me trying to rob me, you're trying to harm me. Most paid, my brother, long live. He's in heaven. He'll take his revenge through me. You understand what I'm saying? I'll defend myself with everything I got. And you don't know what I got. I'm a YouTuber. I'm a civilian. But don't take that as a, as a, as a like, like it's sweet. And I'm trying to behave and be, you know, be in my white mode and not just be like that girl I take N to the grave I don't want to take you to the grave no one wants to be there the good people you know God bless them that's why I fight for them I speak against the violence because things will change for most paid and my auntie long live the heroes but you don't get in the way I'm like a truck you get in the way <laughs> Uh, lay. You're going to need a stone with your name on it. The only th Before you do that, just let me tell you like this, because I don't like this manifest that. But before, if you plan on having Robin AK, I don't, keep, I don't keep nothing on me. No this, no that. It's just music. But you don't know what you mean. Before you do that, make sure you got a life insurance policy. Or, or, or medical insurance, because it'll come in handy. Okay. And, and yeah, I got so distracted. Make it known that you live this humble, peaceful, you don't care about designer type of life. Make it known. Don't be dirty, though. Don't be like the hippie with the, what's his name? He's a cool dude, but do better. Live your life, simple life, you know. Get your law-abiding citizen type life and make change. Be the change you want to see and encourage others around you to do the same. Especially if you're, uh-huh. Especially if you're in a loop. My battery's going to go out, so. Okay. This has been your boy, AK to Bree. All right. Check me on the ground. Follow me. Like or dislike if you dislike. Uh, 
I'm not going to respond to stupid comments. So if you come in trying to justify, have fun. My my viewer base, my f- supporters, I don't say fans, my family will handle you because they're enlightened. Because this, again, is the house of knowledge, evolution, and revolution. Not with boom, 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 or violence, a revolution of thought. A man is mortal. You can come in here and blah, blah, I'm gone. Long live AK. Play my music on Spotify. Oh, I miss you. Stories when I'm gone. But an idea is bulletproof. That was the foundation of Anonymous. See, I got Anonymous. It's not never about hacking or money. It's about idea. You can take a man out. I'm just a, a soul in this vessel trying to survive and feed my family. And I don't want to leave. I got things to make right with people and a family to take care of, mouths to feed. But I'm just saying, a man won't be here. You can, you can blah, blah, pow, assassinate, take out whatever, a man, but you can't take out the idea. Remember that. Ideas are bulletproof. That was what it was founded upon. Before Satoshi, some people tried to create what Bitcoin is, but it was people who centralized. It was office. The government said, how dare you create such a currency? They hit them with the money laundering. I think they didn't deserve it, but that and this and that. And Rico, just like 6 9 nah. Close, shut down, arrest. Now they got them looking like they're John Doe, John Gotti. What? Satoshi said, I got an idea. Kill this. They could never take it out because it's an idea decentralized. Use this pen, and not the pen, but this is mightier than a sword. Don't be quick to use vi- violence to respond to disagreement. Maybe <sighs> take the high road. Because I'm pretty sure you know what that means. Take the high road. Why do you want to go? Blah, blah, blah. When you sit in there doing 40, the people that tell you, you go let them talk to you like that, they're not going to sit there and do 40 years with you. It'll be you. When you get locked up, they're going to say, stupid. Who told you to go? <laughs> I've seen it happen. I grew up in Saudi Arabia. I've watched some people I know get the penalty. If you don't know how it works in Arabia, research, but they take the top off your top, completely detached. That's as much as I can explain to you. I've seen that happen over a moment of emotions. And I got a video about the the anger and stuff coming, but I hate these lights. It's your boy AK, hit like, smash, subscribe, and, and check the documentary, part four on the way. It's my new signature move. Peace out. And if you steal my swag, I don't mind, give me credit.